Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying five, we have some jams and jellies. These are from the Happy Berry. So these were sent to us from Reese, Angela, Stephen, and Brooklyn in South Carolina. The Happy Berry is a place where they like to go and pick fruit, and I'll talk to you about it in just a second. This is the Muscadine Jam, the Scumpernong Jam, the Erasmus Preserves. She gave me the easy one. Blackberry and blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> and those are both, those are both jams. jams yeah. yeah. Um, so, the, uh, let me, let me see. Each one of these is one tablespoon is 45 calories. We're going to be trying the muscadine jam first. I'm going to let you go ahead. Each one of these had a plastic seal on the top. So, I took the plastic seals off and I actually used my little, um, man we call it the man and i opened up each one of them so we wouldn't have to struggle on camera it says the happy berry is located on the eastern shore of lake kennewi in pickens county south carolina it is a pick your own small fruit farm with blackberries blueberries muscadines grapes and figs available in season the season is from june 1st through september in most years Pre-picked berries are available on the farm. So if you don't want to go pick your own, you can uh, just grab a um, container full. And they have things like this for you to buy. Um, so, muscadines are, uh, yes, muscadines is what we're going to try first. They are a type of grapes. It says they thrive in mild climates. They're found growing from Delaware to Florida and from the Atlantic coast to Texas, places where the temperature doesn't drop too far below 10 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. Hmm. So, and there are hunks of, the, of it in there. Yeah, and the ingredients are, are pretty pure. Muscadines, sugar, pectin mix, and water. You can tell it is a kind of grape. It has that grapey kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of a tartness to it. I like it. It's very, very good. It is very sweet. It's sweet, and then it has this a little, this little burst of tartness. Not bad. Like a cranberry has this little burst of tartness. These aren't even as tart as a cranberry. And where they, where there's a piece in there, I actually, um, it's like you're getting um, the the skin. You you're feeling the the texture of the mm -hmm. skin of the grape, but it's actually really nice. Yep. And um, I like that quite a bit. Yeah, it's very very good. I will eat that. <laughs> uh, this is Scumpernong, and when we received the these in the box opening, I thought these are made up names. <laughs> I, I really did not think this was a real thing. Um, it is. Now these are jellies, right? No, okay. Scumpernongs are big juicy grapes that are greenish burnished bronze or green golden color more often than not golden hues hued muscadines are called scumpernongs even if they're not necessarily of the actual variety all scumpernongs are muscadines but not all muscadines are scumpernongs this is why i can't do science and stuff because <laughs> it's just too confusing a scumpernong is actually a specific selection of muscadine so you have the heading muscadines and scumpernong is under it's that under, heading is what I'm under, under, is yeah. what I'm getting. Scumpernongs are the state fruit of North Carolina and they're named after North Carolina's Scumpernong River. That's where the grapes were originally found growing wild then identified and cultivated during the 17th century. Did you know there was a Scumpernong River? Did none of them? No. Clearly. That, to me, has a nice sweet flavor, but it's not as near as sweet as the muscadine. Mm -hmm. But it, has, it is a different flavor, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's completely different. Yeah. yeah that's, that's interesting. That um, almost reminds me of an apple a little bit. Uh, I can see that. I don't know why. No, I can mm, see that. It's really good. That's this one? Which spoon was for this one? This? Awesome. Yeah. Well, this is going to be mine anyway, so. <laughs> I like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. It's it's thicker. It's thick and it's um, 
it has hunks in it. It's mm -hmm. chunky. And um, I don't mean that in a bad way. I like the chunkiness. I love, I eat toast with uh, jam every single day for lunch. And I love uh, getting uh, chunky pieces on my toast. That, yeah. um, it's very good. I like that quite a bit. Yeah, I think the muscadine, it, had a, it was a smoother texture. Um, and it, but I like them both. Both of these are successes. So this is Razzmatazz Preserves. And Razzmatazz is I another like preserves type. better. Uh, Razzmatazz is the first seedless grape to provide gardeners with true fruiting success without spraying. Combining the sweet flavor and texture of table grapes with the disease resistant and native hardiness of muscadines. Hmm. It is also the first ever continuously fruiting grape. Starting as early as six months after planting, it will set blooms and fruit all summer and all along the vine. Each vine requires about 15 feet of growing space on a wire trellis or fence with at least eight hours of sunlight. So it seems to me just hearing that, that if you were to want to plant your own, then the razzmatazz would be the ones to plant because you get more fruit. From you get, would get more fruit from them. It seems like those would be more beneficial to you financially. Is this, mm -hmm. is, is, which spoon is it? I tell you what, uh, from that bite, it didn't seem like this had the flavor of the no, other No, it's a little lighter in flavor as far as with the toast. Mm -hmm. No, it is very light in flavor. No, it's good though. Now, so that could be a reason why you would want to grow those all the time. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So, even though they give fruit all year long, they don't have the the same flavor now it still is very sweet mm -hmm, it's still, and yeah very very good it has, it's a good flavor it's and, just a lighter flavor and it has a uh, chunkiness to it too mm -hmm. that i like yeah they've left it um well those preserved so they almost always leave something in the mm -hmm. preserve i like that quite right. about it's very good now we're at a, i'm awesome. finished with my paperwork blackberry blackberry jam you want to do the rest of them or? oh sure i don't care Blackberry Jam, yeah, I had to look up the odd ones because I really thought those were made up names. Um, and I'm sure uh, Reese and his family got a kick out of that when we did the box oh, opening. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you don't know them. We had no idea. I'm sure, because they go to the farm, <coughs> they would know. No, these are real things. <coughs> okay, so this is Blackberry. Blackberries, sugar, water, pectin, lemon juice. Mm. I like that. It's a lighter flavor too, though, compared to some of the other ones. Uh huh. It is. And if you go online and do a Google, just type in the happy berry, then this farm will pop up and um, you can see pictures and get information. Um, they even had, I believe they had a pricing chart on there of how much it cost. Um, they tell their hours of operation and um, I'm thinking they tell what was good at what time of year. And um, so it's it's a really neat website. So you're if you're in the um, South Carolina area, in this area, it would be a neat place to go visit. Um, that's nice. It is nice. Not a strong flavor. Uh -uh. No, but it's still very good. Yes. This last one is the blueberry. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had blueberry. Blueberry jam. jam. I'm sure we have. No, We've tried no. a lot of jams. We've tried a lot. I may have, but it's not something I, I would, I've eaten any, with any regularity. No, because um, even when we review them, Kevin's not the one that finishes them. Yeah. I'm the one that finishes them. Well, I'm even thinking in the store. I don't know that I really see a lot of blueberry in the store. Now, I'm the jam jelly eater. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know that. Mm. That's a nice flavor, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, the only time I eat, I eat strawberry preserves on peanut butter and jelly. That's the only time I ever eat stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, 
That would be good with peanut butter. That would be. Any of these would be. Because <coughs> this, um, it's it's very pure. It's nothing candy. It's nothing artificial. Mm. So it, there's no fake blueberry flavor. Mm. It is what it is. It's you get blueberry. the yeah. You get the flavor that you get. Um, and that is very nice as well. It is very nice. I like all of these, but my favorites. The first one was my favorite. I, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say um, that lid does not want to stay on there. So I'm going to have to be real careful with that. I don't want to put that in the door. I want to put that, just set that, just set it up there because it literally does not close. Um, I think my my favorite is I'm gonna agree with Kevin the muscadine. Mm -hmm. It's really really good, and, and, then, and it does remind you a little bit of, a, of just grape, but it also has a different flavor too. Yes, so. and then my favorite is the scumpernaut. The second. So those two yeah, are agree. are my favorite, um, but they're all good. Yeah. I like them all. Yes, yeah. all very very successful. Uh, so thank you so much uh, to Reese. Reese is the one out of the family. Uh, he He's the one that at least packaged them and sent them and all that. So I really appreciate that a lot um, that you went to this farm. It's something we would have never gotten to try otherwise. So we appreciate it. If you're out there and you've heard of this farm, uh, leave a comment. Let Reese know that, hey, I've been to that uh, place and I've got my own grapes, picked my own grapes, whatever you've done. Let him know because I think that would be neat for you all to be able to connect through the comments. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.